Hey, I'm Jamie from Be Fast Fitness. I came down today to record a little podcast with Pindi. Um, Pindi was my sort of starting journey with Pindi and Lucky. I started my martial arts and fitness journey from doing no fitness at all to now owning a personal training business in Birmingham called Be Fast Fitness, working with martial artists, general population. Um, so I just wanted to share some stuff that I do with you today. Uh, share a little bit of a, a warm up sequence and we'll talk through some of the movements that I tend to favor that are going to work your whole body, get things really fired up, really engaged and then we'll go through a couple of movements with the kettlebells that I like to use as well. So these are perfect whether you just want to do some general um, general movements some general fitness or strength or if you crank up that intensity it's really good for like martial arts prep and competition as well. So if you want to follow me on socials uh, my Instagram is bfastj, B-F-A-S-T-J-A-Y uh, and you can follow Be Fast Fitness as my business page and if you check out our podcast it's called Loose Gym and I run with my fiance Soph. Uh, so just follow us there and hope you enjoy what we do today. So we're going to start off with three main movements for our warm up section today. The first one is going to be our Turkish get up. Now, if you've never done the movements before, just start light or even just build up with body weight. You don't need to kind of go too heavy with these, but it's a great way to warm up the whole body. It's really good for stability, for control and strength. So I'm going to talk you through this movement first. So we just need a single kettlebell for this one. We're going to start flat on our back for this first movement. So always when we start off, curl yourself into the weight and then roll back using that whole shoulder stability. Now our Turkish get up, take your time with it. It's about stability, control and not rushing through. So we start off flat with our back, hand punched into the air. Step one, we're going to come up onto our forearm. Step two, up onto our hand. Step three, we're going to bridge those hips. Now for the fourth step, we're going to pull that knee through and then we're just going to square up to finish and stand tall. Now this movement, we're working our grip strength, we're working our shoulder stability, we're working our core. It's a real nice whole body movement. So back down, rotate that foot down to the hand, bringing through into that bridge position, back onto the hip, forearm and down, nice and controlled. And now we're going to swap sides. So curl back in, roll it round the head and then we'll go the other side. So onto your back, punch, up onto that forearm, up onto that hand, nice big bridge through onto that knee, standing tall. Make sure we've got that nice full extension from the shoulder, standing really tall from there, keeping that grip squeezed, and then we'll reverse. Down, through. So again, we're working the shoulders, the hips, the core, that whole body's getting work here. Forearm, down flat. Movement number two, we're gonna come into our Cossack squats. So nice wide stance. Again, with these sorts of movements, just use the range that feels comfortable for you. I'm not gonna lie, I've been cycling a lot. My hips are super stiff at the minute. So since the lockdown, I'm working a lot on these to try and loosen these out again. But take a single kettlebell, nice wide stance. Keep that posture tall, shoulder blade squeezed. We're gonna sit down, steady into this movement here. And then we're just gonna transfer the weight across the body. We're going to do this for five reps each side, opening out our adductors, our hamstrings, keeping that posture nice and tall. So I'm not standing up fully, I'm kind of sitting into this one, letting those hips open up, keeping that nice strong position. And last one, and then time, standing tall to finish. So that's our second movement, Cossack squat position. Now our third and final one for the warm up section, we're gonna do, this one was something I did a lot with uh, Jiu Jitsu athletes. We call it the grappler's row. It includes upper body pulling strength along with our isometric strength as well. So for this one, two kettlebells, keeping that posture super tall. Hinge the hips back, come into a nice strong deadlift position to start this movement off. Then we're gonna actually row both kettlebells up to this position here, and we're gonna hold. Now we're gonna slowly bring one down and then back up. So we're getting that isometric squeeze at the top. 
we're getting our dynamic rowing strength as well. We're gonna go five each side again. Keeping that posture. Nice squeeze, your lats should be on fire from this. Five. And five. And then down from there. So we're gonna do one more round of this just to get that whole body nice and, and warm. But we've got sort of some, some shoulder work going on here. We've got our hips working, our upper back. And of course, we've got our adductors working nicely as well. So, one more round. Turkish get up first. Slightly quicker this round. But again, focus on the quality and control of these reps. Nice and smooth. And working from there. Try and sort of solidify each position when you do this as well. So we don't need to kind of rush you through it. Just really establish each position. Make sure you feel nice and controlled. Remember, if the left leg's bent, the left arm is the straight arm. Make sure with this one, you don't want this chest to collapse. So don't let that sink down. Tall, proud chest. Keep the grip engaged. We're really keeping that posture taut. And reversing back down. Nice strong bridge. Forearm. And control this last bit. The biggest mistake I see on the Turkish get up is this last section. Try not to just kind of crash. Make sure you really build that tension and control it slowly. And that's going to really build that ab strength and work on that stability as well. So back into our Cossack squat, another five each side. It's a nice strong posture to lift it. And let's work from there. So again, the more flexible you get with this one, the lower you can drop each time. But just spend a bit of time letting that foot rotate. Working from here. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a long time since I've done this on martial arts mats. So the extra stability is a nice little challenge there as well. Nice work. And a final set on that grapplers row. Again, posture tall on this one, making sure we get that real strong back position. Two kettlebells, dumbbells, all these movements work equally well with dumbbells as well. So if you don't have matching kettlebells, by all means use a dumbbell. So keeping that posture strong, rowing from there. Five each side. Keep those feet planted nicely as well. Four and four and five and five. So hopefully you're feeling warmer from that. If not, you can complete one more round. But again, whole body movements are gonna get you really nice, supple, smooth, getting these joints prepared for our next little section. Okay guys, so first bit of our uh, main workout today is we've warmed the body up. We're gonna start off today with what we call a kettlebell ladder. So we're gonna pick Four movements, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with one rep of each movement, then two of each, then three of each. But then we're gonna go back down to one. It's a great little method because you can allow yourself to really build strength, control, and tension on each of these movements, and then we will build that up. And if you wanna add intensity, you can either increase the time, or you can go a little bit faster. So we're gonna start with about five minute rounds, but again, if you wanna adapt that time, if you're feeling like it's quite tough, you can reduce the time down a little bit. If you find it's easy, you can bump that timer up. But let's go through the movements. Real simple, real control for this first one, and then we'll add a little bit of pizzazz to the next one. So, all we're gonna work for the first movement is our kettlebell row. It's a two-handed row. Hinge them hips back, similar to what we just did, but we're gonna come straight up to the uh, chest with the kettlebells, and then back down. From there, we're gonna shift the hips forward into a deadlift. And then from here, we're gonna change to a single kettlebell now. We're gonna 
clean it up with one arm and down and then press overhead for our thruster movement and then back down control down again and then we'll do the other side so again then we'll do work on our row deadlift left hand clean left hand thruster down controlled now we're going to go again this is the ladder so we're going to do two of each row row deadlift deadlift clean clean thruster so thrust is your squat to press and again and then back to the other side row row deadlift deadlift clean clean thruster and thruster make sure we keep that nice solid control squeeze those reps now we're going to do three of each one two three one two three one keeping this kettlebell close to the body on these cleans don't let it get away from you and then thruster powerful up control down and then repeat on the other side to finish us off row 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 you'll notice I'm kind of going quite controlled quite steady to build that tension form consistency keep it crisp keep everything locked in that little bit of a hip thrust and lock out the top just helping to drive that kettlebell overhead Woo! nice that's a little smoker so we've just done our ladder of one two three we've completed that both sides now we're going to go back to one so like i say initially set a timer for five minutes see how many rounds you can get through in the five if that feels easy you can either do for example a single round of 10 minutes or you can do two to three rounds of five so you can tell it's working nicely get me out of breath let's go again ones first one two clean thruster and again right deadlift clean thruster twos one two one two one two one and two good control reps especially on the way down build that tension one two one Nice team, good. One final round. We're going to do three, the three reps now, and then we're going to call this section there. So again, powerful, controlled, starting with those rows. I'm going to make this one a little bit quicker to show you how you can increase that intensity with the same weight. So let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three, one, two, three. So I'll just up the ante on that speed. Row, row, row. Deadlift, deadlift, deadlift. Clean, clean, clean. Thruster, 
thruster and thruster. Nice. Woo! That's a nice little session, it's a nice little workout that one. Again, trying to get a bit of whole body. We're starting off with that upper body pull. Then our hip dominant deadlift position. Then we clean it up to get some power. And then we're into our squat and our press, which gives us the anterior chain, quads, delts, shoulders. Give that one a try. Let me know how you find it. Please give me some feedback. It's making me work today. So give that one a shot. So we're gonna finish this off today with something a little bit more fluid, a little bit more dynamic. It's called a kettlebell flow. So rather than building the reps up like we did on the ladder with the flow, it's just one rep of each movement. So we're gonna take it smooth, take your time, try and make it as like, sort of fluid and consistent as possible. I'm gonna to have to go a little bit quicker with some of the movements because they're dynamic, so it's hard to slow them down. But we're gonna start off with our swing position. So take a little step away, hips nice and strong. So we're gonna start off here. Swing, then through into a figure of eight catch here. Then we're gonna step back with that left leg. Then we're gonna snatch it up and control it down. And then we're gonna swap sides. Swing. Figure of eight, lunging on the opposite leg, and then snatch position. Down, control, I'm using that hip snap to drive that snatch up. Swing, figure of eight, lunge, and snatch. Down, control, building that tension. Imagine you're pulling down, like you're doing a reverse chin up almost. Swing, figure of eight, lunge, and snatch. Swing. Figure of eight. Using that hip snap. Lunge. And snatch. Down controlled. We do this five times in total. Swing. Figure of eight. Lunge. And snatch. Keeping that whip. Two more. Swing, figure of eight, lunge, snatch. Swing, figure of eight, lunge, snatch. We're gonna do one more each side. Swing, missed it. <laughs> figure of eight, lunge, and then snatch. Down controlled, last one. Swing. Figure of eight. Miss my lunge there. Lunge. And then snatch. Good, let's just do one more because I messed that one up a little bit. Swing. Figure of eight. Lunge. And snatch. Final one. Swing, figure of eight, lunge, and then snatch. And down controlled. So with this one, as you can see, it's all about building that fluidity and that control. I would tend to do these for about five reps on a flow movement. So do about five, five complete times through, left and right. If that's feeling good, have a little breather, and then we'll do maybe two to four more rounds. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's my little bit of flavor for how I work with martial artists and also how I just work with general people that want to improve their flexibility, movement, strength, and fitness. I'm going to catch a breather now. Give me some feedback and I hope you enjoyed that, guys.